In this video we'll see how to collect a systematic sample. And we will be doing the same population as the simple random sample example. And we'll be using spreadsheets. And the uh, first step is similar to simple random that we want uh, some sort of order for all these individuals in the population. Um, the typical example for systematic is the assembly line. You have objects coming off an assembly line and you can uh, do quality control on every tenth or every hundredth object or something like that. Um, there is a natural ordering to these because they're already listed in a vertical list. So we'll go ahead and take that um, starting at the top is number one going down to the bottom is number 23. And, um, then the question becomes where do we start and how often do we sample? So first you need to figure out what your sample size is. I'm going to use a sample size of four and All right, I'm going to keep the sample size to four, and uh, but whatever sample size you have for your assignment, make sure you use that. And then we want to go ahead and take the population size. That's something you would need to know, and figure that out. And mine is 23. I have 23 individuals in my population. And then what we do is we find this number, a lot of times called K or something like that, and this is how often you sample, and you get it by taking the um, 23 and dividing by the 4. Now, if this is not a whole number, you need to round it down. Right? I know normally we would take a number like that and round it up to 6. You always want to round down. There's a command in Excel for this. Round down. There it is and uh, put a comma and zero. So that'll round it down to a whole number. All right. Next up, so we know we're going to sample every fifth individual. Next up, we got to figure out where we start. Starting point. And our starting point will be a randomly chosen starting point. So we'll do ran between, and we'll pick a random number between 1 and whatever k is. Here, one between 1 and 5. And that ends up being number 5. Okay, so we'll start with the fifth individual, and that would be Taylor Britt. All right, and so we'll copy and paste that name. And now we just go by fives, right? So remember, we uh, kind of started here. We can now just skip ahead and do every fifth name. So going five more, we'd get to uh, Wilson Chaplain, and then going five more, we'd get to Tyler Horn, and then five more to Ashley Johnstone, and that is four individuals. And because of the way you calculate K and the starting point, you'll um, get the individuals you need before you get to the end of the population. So I'm going to copy and then paste that, copy and paste that, copy and paste that. And it's messing up on me for some reason. Alright, so there's the four individuals in my sample, and I have a nice systematic sample. 